okay so hello everyone uh, welcome uh, can you hear me yes sir yes okay. yes yes we can hear you <laughs> okay thank you for joining so basically today is our second number of class and um, i hope you already got the first day's recorded video class as well also material i uploaded the uh, our google classroom so you also easily get all of this material from here and uh, basically today is our second number of class so now we'll start um, i simply share my screen Yes, so now can you see my screen? Is it visible? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Not yet. Okay, so let's. So hi and welcome. to the seven days online training program on google at engine for remote sensing analysis so today is our second days of online training program so basically today i will try to discuss about that how we can easily filtering and displaying the satellite images mainly landsat and sentinel how we can easily filter and displaying the satellite images landsat and sentinel imagery and then how we can easily use the different types of band combination such as natural color band combination false color composi uh, composition so this type of combination how we can easily create using the google earth engine platform after that how we can easily export the satellite images from the google earth engine platform suppose you need a sentinel image you can easily export this sentinel image from google earth engine platform suppose you need the landsat image you can easily export the landsat image from the google earth engine platform then how we can easily import filter reduce and clip and display the data in google earth engine platform then how we can easily make the time series chart of ndvi using the modis data then how we can easily export any shape file from google earth engine platform and how to calculate any indices from the satellite images okay so let's go so basically our uh, previous class i also try to discuss about the public data catalog so google earth engine has a vast public data catalog in this public data catalog we can easily access the lot of satellite imagery such as landsat sentinel modis train land cover atmospheric and this type of data set is updating daily in this public data catalog we can easily find out more than 200 public data set more than 5 million images more than 4000 new images every single day we can get in here and more than 5 petabytes of data and this is the uh, website link for that uh, arc engine public data catalog okay simply go to this link then we can easily access all of those public data catalog in arc engine as well as you can simply go to the code editor so i also show you that simply go to the code editor i open my code editor so go to this link i use my email address so simply select that and continue after that you can see the search place and data set okay in the uh, search bar simply click on here and go to the browse data catalog okay so now it will be appear at all of those data set from art engine data catalog so here we can find out the climate and weather data surface temperature data climate data atmospheric data weather data different types of imagery landsat sentinel modis also high resolution imagery uh, geophysical data set train data set land cover data set cropland data set other geophysical data set okay as well as you can see click on the landsat then i can get all of those landsat image collection such as landsat uh, 9 landsat 8 landsat 7 landsat 5 landsat 4 landsat 1 to 5 okay as well as the sentinel when i click on the sentinel then i can got all of those sentinel image collections such as sentinel 1 sentinel 2 sentinel 3 sentinel 5 okay all of those sentinel image collection you can easily get as well as you can see the modis so here we can get all of those modis image collection as well as we can also get the all of those modis product such as 
Modis daily Alvedo uh, daily as well as also you can see the Modis BRDF Alvedo quality daily data set Modis uh, snow cover daily data set land surface temperature daily data set so all of those Modis product we can easily access from here you can see the Modis Alvedo param parameters data set Modis leaf area index data set okay all of those data set here I can got in here okay so in this time first of all I talked about the Modis so I use only for the one data set and I also try to show you that how we can easily import the data set, then how we can easily filter the data set, then how we can only reduce this data set, and finally how we can easily display this result on your specific boundary or a specific shape file. Using the same process, all of those data set, all of those data set you can easily apply and you can easily make the map. Any types of data set you can easily use and then make the map. Okay. So in this time I talk about that. Um, basically how we can easily import the data set okay how to import okay just try simply one select suppose how we can easily import the data set any data set it can be modis it can be land set it can be sentinel any data set how you can easily import in your code editor then how to filter this data then how to reduce this image collection then how to clip on your own boundary shape file and how to display the result on the map and how to represent it the scale pixel value okay so let's go first of all i simply show you the modis satellite imagery so i use this modis products such as um, suppose i use at the modis um travel is 16 date global 200 ppm data. i want to use this image collection and make the ndvi map okay so first of all i simply click on here then I can get all of this information about this data set, how it will be work, all of the things I can get in here. So here we can get the data set is that uh, resolution is the 250 meter resolution. Okay, this data set resolution or pixel area. And we can also get the NDVI and also get the EVI. Okay, so two types of band we can got from this image collection. As well as we can also get the data set availability date we can get in here. You can see data set availability date. Okay, this is it will be start from 2000 to 2023 0 This time period we can easily access the data set as well as you can see also uh, they are provide the new link about the data set. So in this time, uh, this data set is not updated. Okay, but when I click on here, then it showing the data set will be updated. You can see we can get the uh, 2023 uh, 0610 from this time period. This is the last update data set about that mode is Resolution index is 60 to global 250 meter resolution. Okay, so I use the update data set. Okay, so here we can get the data set availability time period as well as we can also get the art engine snippet. Okay, art engine snippet basically it is the unique ID, unique ID of this data set. All of those data set in Google Earth Engine platform has a unique ID. Okay, for the mode is 16 day global 250 meter resolution. For this data set, unique ID is that. So this is the unique ID of this data set. Okay. As well as we can also get the description about this data set, mainly how the that uh, modis uh, data will be created. Okay. So here you can get all of the description about this data set. So mainly in this time you can see they are masked or all of unnecessary pixel values, such as water, yeah. then cloud, heavy aerosol, cloud shadow, all of those things. Uh, we can they are um, removed. Okay. Or masked so that's how you can get the very clear NDVI map from this data set okay so in this time I want to use this data set so first of all I need to import the data set in my code editor okay so I need to import the data set in my code editor so how I can import there are the two way we can follow for import the data set if you want you can simply copy just simply copy just simply copy this unique ID and then paste in your code editor and then give a variable name suppose i put the variable name is that um modis okay you can use any name so in this time this is my image collection or unique id this image collection is stored in a variable variable name is the modis okay so now my data set is imported in my code editor so this is the one way another way is that you can simply search here modis ndvi simply search here modis ndvi so now we can see i use the data set trap vegetation index is 60 global 250 resolution 
this data set I use. So simply click on here. Then I can get the same information about the band. All of those things will be same information. Also, you can see the uh, snippet, same information. Just I simply import. Okay. So now this data set is also imported. And this is the default variable name image collection. If you want, you can use it uh, any name. There is no limitation. Say, will I use the suppose modis? Okay. So there is the two way. When you want to import any data set in your code editor, if you want, simply copy the art engine snippet from here. Or if you want, simply search here the modis, your, uh, write your name of the data set and simply import it. Okay. Then this data set is imported in your code editor. Okay. So in this time, I simply use the first one. So simply remove that. So I import the data set using the snippet. Or if you want, simply search here and import that. Okay. So now this image collection has a two band. Okay, this image collection has a two band. One band you can see the NDVI, NDVI, and another band is that EVI. Okay, so I want to use NDVI, normalized difference resolution index. So first of all, from this image collection, I need to select the one band NDVI. So just I simply put here select function. Okay, so this image collection is, has a two band, but I need only for the one band. So that's why I use the select function and write this band name NDVI. Okay, so now in this time, uh, I want to check how many images are available for the NDVI for the whole world between the time period year of 2000 to present time 2023-06-10 between this time period how many images are available okay so let's for that i simply use here the print function okay i print this modis because in this time you can see this image collection and select both of things is stored in this variable modis so simply copy the modis and paste here and use the function size function mainly this size function determine how many images are available Okay, so let's go click to the run. So now with number computing, we can get the total 537 is available for the whole world between the time period year of 2000 to 2023 for present time. Okay, so in this time, I don't need for the whole time period. I need only for the specific year or a specific season. Suppose rainy season, I need the result for the um, wet season or dry season okay or only for the specific month a specific year so for that i also need to filter the date okay so basically this image collection in this time 537 it is the whole year whole image collection between the time period year of 2000 to 2023 but i need the result for a specific time period so that's why i need to filter this is uh, time period so how i can filter so for that i simply use the another function this function called dot filter date function okay so now you can simply put your specific time period suppose i need the data set for year of 2022 suppose first january from 2022 uh, december suppose 31 okay this is my time period so now i want to check how many images are available between this time period year of 2022 so then click to the run. So now it displays the result. You can see it's showing the 23 images. Okay, we can get the 23 images for the year of 2022. Okay, and if you want to check what is the time interval between one image to another image, what is the time interval? So for that, you can simply print that modis and click to the run. So now it shows all of the information. So click on here and go to the feature so here you can get the result about that so you can see the first image is the first january then 17 january second february 18 february okay so in this time we can get the result and one image to another image second image time interval is that 16 day okay so that's why this uh, image collection called the 16 day global so one image to another image, we can get the 16 day, 16 days interval 
So that's why this image is called the 16 day. From the rest, we can also get the 8 day. Then we can get the one image to the another image is the 8 days interval. Okay. Some 32 day or annual. Okay. So in this time, it's the 16 day. So first image, you can see, first image is the first January. Second image is the 17th January. Then third image is the 2nd February. So every, we can get the interval is that 16 day about this data set. So here I can get the 23 images, okay? And we can get the image for the different different time period, okay? Not at the same time. We can get the, for the year of 2022, the image is the different, different time period. So that's why in this time, I need to reduce this image collection. In Google Ads Engine platform, reduce is an statistical function. So mainly in this time, if you want, you can calculate the average and DVI using total 23 images. If you want, you can calculate the maximum NDVI using the total 23 images. If you want, you can calculate the minimum NDVI using the total 23 images. So in this time, I show you that how you can easily calculate the average NDVI. Using the total 23 images, you can calculate the average NDVI. So for that, I can simply take a variable. Suppose average NDVI. Okay. So in this time, these 23 images is stored in a variable. This variable name is the modis. Okay. So modis is stored the 23 images. Okay. Just I simply call the modis because it stored the 23 images. And now I want to calculate the average result from the 23 images. Okay. For that, I need to use the reduce function. Okay. Reduce is an statistical function. So I use the reduce function then I need to define how I can reduce. I want to use here the average for reducing. So use here the ee dot reducer dot mean. Okay. So now it cal calculated the average from 23 images and it stored it in this variable. Okay. So now I want to check the result. So I need to display the result about the average NDVI map for the whole world. So I simply use the layer map dot add layer and call this object average NDVI because I want to display the average NDVI result and click the run. So now it displays the la uh, a layer and we can got the result for the average NDVI map for the whole world. In this time, I did not add any color. So that's why it looked like that ash color. You can see we can get the ash, ash color map. So I want to add here the visualization. So for that, what can I do? They are already provide some demo code about the color. You can see. Just I simply copy from here. And paste. So in this time, basically they are create a dictionary. You can see they are create a dictionary using the curly bracket and they are put here the mean pixel value of NDVI start from the zero and max NDVI up to 8000. And they are also use here the some color hexa code. Okay. So now we already know about that after object name we always put here the visualization parameter, okay? So in this time, this is my visualization parameter variable name. Simply copy that name and paste here, okay? Then if you want, you can also use here the layer name. Suppose I put the layer name is that world NDVI map. Then click the run. So now we can get the colorful map for the whole world NDVI map year of 2022. Okay, so it represented the whole world in eBay map year of 2022. Okay. So now we can get the result for the whole world, but I don't need for the whole world. I need only for my own country or only for my own specific boundary. So how I can do that? So for that, I can simply import it our shape file. Okay. Or if you want, previous day I also talked about the US DYS data set, mainly international boundary polygon data set. I also import that, this data set in here. Basically, this data set provides you the all of those country boundary shape file. So in this time, I get the shape file from this data set and then use it and then make this NDVI map for a specific region. So for that, take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is the suppose country. Okay, in this country variable, I just put 
store it, the specific country boundary shape file. So just I call the table and then filter it. Previous day I also talked about that e dot filter dot equal. I put here this uh, country name such as uh, suppose Bangladesh. Okay, and then it will be stored. The Bangladesh country boundary is stored in this variable. Okay, so in this time just I click. Okay, so you can see the average NDVI. Okay, this average NDVI show the display the result for the whole world. But in this time, I don't show the whole world. I need only for the specific region. So just I simply clip this average NDVI. Then it will be work. So you can see average NDVI. It here average NDVI. Okay. Then I simply use a function clip function. Clip with my shape file. And this shape file is stored in a variable. What's the variable name? Country. Okay. Bangladesh shape file variable is stored in the country. So just I simply copy the country boundary shape file and then paste here then click the run in this time i get the result only for the bangladesh country boundary okay but it's not focusing okay so i want to focus that so for that i use a map dot center object function okay just i simply use a function map dot center object and i want to focus the center of the boundary shape file so in this time country okay so use here the country and put the zoom level suppose uh, 8 the run. in this time it automatically showing the result of ndvi map as well as also uh, focus the center of this ndvi map okay so now we can get the result only for the bangladesh suppose i need the result for another country just i simply put the country name suppose um, as a suppose Ghana. click to the run so now I can get the result for Ghana NDVI map year of uh, 2022. Any country boundary shape file, just I put the name and I can easily get this NDVI map for any region. Suppose I need the result for uh, Saudi Arabia. Click the run. So now I can get the result for Saudi Arabia region. What is the condition in DVI year of 2022? You can get the sum definition in here. Mainly, this is the crop plant. Any country boundary, suppose, suppose you can put here this um, Benin. Click the run. So now you can get the result about the Benin in DVI map. Year of 2022. Okay, so any country boundary simply put that we can get the result. Not only for that, suppose you imported the shape file in your asset. Okay, so now you want to use it. So just simply go to the asset. And then suppose I want to need the result for uh, suppose lake of chat. Okay, this uh, boundary I want to use and then make the NDVI map for year of 2022. So for that, first of all, I need to import this boundary shape file in my code editor. Just I simply import. It will be imported. You can see table 2. So in this time, I simply put here this suppose ROI. Okay. Suppose I put the another name ROI. And then I can simply use here the clip function. Clip with ROI. Okay. Which I imported in here ROI. As well as I also center focus of my ROI. So just I simply use here the ROI, ROI, zoom level it. Then click to the run. So now I can get the result about the lake of chart in the VI map. It will work, you can see. Okay, so you can see this is the map of the lake of chart in the VI. We can get this result look like that. Okay, so using this process, we are using the modis data set and make the ndvi map but this ndvi map is not correct why it's not correct when i need to check the pixel value you can see in a spider tab and click on this ndvi map then i can say get the get the result you can see i can get the result 1711.34 when i click on here then i can get the result like that you can see 1338 this type of result but ndvi index value will be this range will be negative 1 to positive 1. 
okay so in this time i need to reproject it this scale value okay in this time without reprojected i did not get the proper map so in this time it it will be ndvi map but this scale is not correct okay because ndvi result always this range will be negative one to positive one but it's showing the 1300 this type of result so that's why it not reprojected so in this time i need to reproject it this result so how i can reproject it so let's go we talk about the reprojection about this result so for that we can check the result you can see about the data set um you can see the scale okay so in this time for the ndvi this scale is that 0 0.001 okay point three four zero one so this is the scale of this ndvi as well as also evi same scale there is no problem so in this time i want to use this scale and reproject it this scale value okay so how i can reproject it so first of all here I can get total how many images you can see. Uh, here I can get total 23 images for the one year. Okay. So in this time, all of those images, all of those images, I need to multiply with my scale factor. Okay. So this is my scale factor 0 0.001. This scale factor, I need to multiply with my all of those images, total 23 images. Then it will be represented. So now how I can multiply all of those images with my scale factor at the same time. So in this time, I need to use the concept of function. So I use the function so that it will be reuse our code and multiply at the same time all of those images with the scale factor 0 0.0001. Okay, so let's go about that. So we already know about that uh, function. Okay. So I take a variable name about the function. Suppose I put the function variable name is the scaled, scaled NDVI. You can use any name. Okay. After that, you use the function keyword. Okay. And then you use the parenthesis. And you use the element name. Suppose I put the element name is the image. And then uh, you use the curly bracket. In this curly bracket, I need to put the argument. In this time, here I got the total 23 images. Okay. This 23 images I need to multiply at the same time. Okay. So at the same time I need to multiply. So in this time here I put only for the one element. Only for the one image. So in this time if you want you can put here the image. Uh, then also put here the image. Uh, image 1. Then put here the image 2. Up to image. Suppose you can put here the uh, dot 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 image. 23 okay then it lot of time we need to when you want to do for the one by one one by one one by one one by one it also lot of time we need to write the code okay so you can see all of those emails has an individual uh, id also you can see suppose a zero number image what is the id this is the id for the first image then second image what is the id about the second image you can see second image id is that okay so in this time when you want to randomly put one image one image one image then it take a lot of time okay so for that in this time i just use only for the one image okay i use only for the one image this one image i multiply with the scale factor okay then i use a function copy properties mainly this copy properties function implement from system time start to system time end system time start and system time end means that between this time period all of those images okay so write the code about that so in this time i return use the return function return this image only for the one image multiply multiply with scale factor 0 0.0001 okay so now i need to copy these properties and apply all of those images from 20 uh, all of those 23 images okay so for that i use a function in here copy properties okay i use here the copy properties and then call the element name image and mention here system time start and system time 
int basically here i already in my system on all in my code i define a start date and end date you can see start date and end date in this time period all of those images i consider and multiply with this scale factor using the system name start and system name end okay so you can see how i write the function in here first of all i take a variable name scale and dvi then use here the function keyword and i take only for the one image okay only for the one image i take and this one image i multiply with my scale factor and then this properties after multiply this properties i copy and apply system term start and system term end all of those images so now it considered the all of those 23 images okay but you can see this is a totally separate code okay so this is a function i created this function is a totally separate code there is the no relation with the 23 images okay 23 images is stored in the modis variable okay and you can see uh, this is my function which i write in here there is a no connection okay so in this time i need to make a connection so for that i simply call the modis i simply call the modis because modis is my collection in this collection total 23 images is stored so i simply copy and then uh, paste here and use a function map function for connecting with my overall collection so now we're connecting okay so now i calculated the average if you want to check how many emails i got in here after uh, scaled ndvi or scaling the scale factor how many emails i need to get so simply use the size function and click to the run in this time we will also get the same number of images 23 you can see 23 we can get the same number of images but in this time this 23 emails is that represented their scale value okay so now i want to use the this 23 images and make the average so just i simply copy the scale and dvi and paste here okay and then click the run so now in this time this result will be represented you can see in this time i can get the white color map because i also need to change in here okay so for that before that you can see i click on the inspector tab and click on this map you can check i get the result look like that uh, for this coordinate i can get a point three also click on here i can get the result for that you can see point four four okay so now i get the result within our range negative one to positive one so for that in this time i simply change it suppose i put here the mean value it will be negative one and max value suppose uh, positive one and then click to the run and this color is also not perfect about that i also change the color plated also suppose i put this color negative pixel will showing as the blue color greater than blue color i want to why so the suppose white color and vegetation i want to show suppose as a green color okay then click to the run okay okay so now i can easily identify about all of those things you can see suppose water body mainly we can get the water body for ndv as a negative result you can see uh, negative 0.14 okay so now this is the current ndvi map and also reprojected this map also you can see for the dense vegetation you can get the high positive value 0.6 also for this dense we can get you can see 0.7 okay so this is the process for creating the ndvi map using the modis so now if you have any question or any doubt you can ask me anyone any question about that all of this code yes sir yeah, i have a question so the steps i think it is good that the step were too fast and the order of the code were confused so at times you don't really know which code was put first and the other one two. so you mix up the code so it it is really confusing our head to know that this way you started and this way you ended so the code went okay so for that you have also uh 
uh, what's my recorded video class again and again so then i hope you can easily understand about that okay so in this time if you have any confusion about that your any line of code any line of code if you don't understand then you can ask me about the line number then i also again explain about that okay so for that you also need to uh, watch the recorded video class again and again otherwise you did not understand all of those steps okay. so in this time uh, if you have any question any line of code you don't understand then i will explain about that again okay mm. yeah please if you have so yeah. Line, yeah line 12 line 12 yeah line 12 to 14 it was yeah. not really clear okay so for that i can explain so for that first of all when i create the map i did not get the result within our range negative one to positive one okay so that's why i need to reproject the result so that's why i can get the result within our range negative one to positive one so for that what can i do i just simply multiply with the scale factor they are already provide the scale factor okay this scale factor i multiply all of those images total 23 images i need to multiply so in this time when i randomly uh, multiply one image to one image to one image to then it takes a lot of time but when i use the concept of function in this time i use the concept of function so in this time you can see function is that i can simply take the variable name then put the function keyword then put the image I take only for the one element or one image from 23 i will get only for the one image okay this one image i multiply with the scale factor okay so after that just copy these properties after multiply and apply this system by start and system end in this code i already define a time okay so this is my system time start and system end. Mm -hmm. okay so after that you can say I create the function 60. okay kindly mute that 60 hello sir yeah please hello sir yeah i can hear you yes i have a question yeah please uh -huh. my question is you see um, in, in the function yes in the function, why you have uh, why you have defined the IMG? IMG as an element name. You can use any name. So I want to ask if the yeah I want, yeah I want to ask if you have already defined it there or when I define the function, I can just use any variable for it. Okay, so in this time, this IMG as a variable or element name. If you want, you can use it at the X. There is a no problem. But this x is multiplied with your scale factor, okay? Only for the one image. When I multiply with this one image, oh, okay. then I also need to also need to use that the x, okay? As a variable, it okay? Only for the one image, okay? Anything you can use, there is no problem, okay? After x is multiplied with my uh, scale factor, oh. then copy these properties, okay? Then situation is right, okay? You can use anything, there is no problem. Use you use here the image or IMG. Oh. Also, it has the image. There is no problem. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, how, how does the code, code understand, understand that, that the image is referred to um, um, the individual 23, 23 images? Okay. So, in this time, I just multiply only for the one image. Okay. But I have also rest of 22 images. Okay. I also need to multiply also this scale factor 0 0.001. So that's why I use a function copy properties. Okay, copy properties and then simply call this image and put here this system start and system end. Mainly this system start and system is defined is my this time start time and end time. Okay, and this time period we find out total 23 images. So it multiply all of those images. Okay, so after creating this function. I need to make a collect, uh, connection okay. with my uh, 23 images. And this 23 image is stored in a variable. This variable name is the modis. So I call the modis. And for connecting this, we are using a function map function. 
okay so this is my function which i created and this is my collection modis okay both of things i need to connect using the map function okay and it's very important because a lot of time for our further class we are also use the oh, concept you. of function when i talk about the modis land surface temperature data set we also need to use it and a lot of time you can also uh, get this type of function okay so i hope you can easily understand about that in here so any question or any doubt about this function you can ask me oh, okay thank you okay okay thank you okay good okay okay so anyone any question or anything any confusion about that So I have a question. Yeah, please. So actually, in this, uh, like you have done, you have done calculation on averaging of the one year. Okay. Yes. Usually in research paper, it is required this, uh, like we have to show the comparison in, uh, like change in NDVI with respect to time. Yes. So how can we generate that? Idea? Okay. So for that, first of all, you also need to create the another image collection. So in this time, suppose I want to make the change detection between the year of 2022 and 2010. Okay, so I just simply created that uh, image collection also for the 2022 or 2010, another image collection, and also do for the uh, reprojected scale value, all of those things I can do. After that, I need to use a threshold. Using this threshold, I just simply make the change detection between the two time period. Okay, so here I already create a tutorial about that. So just a minute, I simply send you that. You also try to watch this video. I hope you can easily understand about that. And it is a publicly, anyone can uh, go to this video link and you can easily get the, okay. Stay so a question. question. Yeah, please. Sir, so what is, what really differentiate the function, uh, the function reduction and clip what is really the difference between the two? Reduction and clipping. Uh, reduction means reduce. Yes, reduce. Reduce and clip. Okay, basically reduce is a statistical function. Okay, so reduce is a statistical function. And how I can reduce? In this time, I want to calculate the average pixel value from total 23 images. Okay. So, and 23 images is stored in this scale and DVI. Okay. So, this scale and DVI, I want to use at the reduce and use at the e reducer dot mean. So, calculate the average result. And this average result mainly showing the for the whole world. But I need only for my specific region. So, that's why I simply clip and put my shape file variable name or boundary variable name so then i can get the result only for my region not for the whole world okay okay any questions Thank you, sir. and please what about if you use only dot main why uh, why what hello sir yes this, uh, what about if you, you only use dot main without bringing the dot reduce okay so basically in this time this reduce first of all you can see here in this time filter then i use the e dot filter of equal okay so in this time this table i need to filter then how i can filter it's defined in here also same you can see this scale and dvi total 23 images i reduce then how i can reduce Okay, so I reduce, then how I can reduce? In this time, you are using here the suppose max. Then it will be showing the maximum NDVI. You want to use here the mean, then it's showing the minimum NDVI. Okay, so it will be, uh, first of all, this 23 image, I need to reduce, then how I can reduce? I define it in here. Okay. Sometimes if you if you want, uh, oh, you can uh, you. Uh, just simply use here the mean function. Then it also works. There is a no problem. Suppose uh, use here the only for the mean. Okay, without all of those things, just only use here the mean. 
okay then it will also work but the proper way is that uh, first of all you need to define the reduce then how i can reduce like that okay this is the proper way and if you want you also use the mean there is no problem you can use at the mean and then use at the clip with the area with roi okay but proper way is that first of all i need to define the reduce then how i can reduce this way okay 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 so anyone any question yes a question yeah please uh so it means that in in google engine you don't need to mosaic your image to bring them no together no in this time we are use the ready-made product okay so in this time we are using here the ready-made product so that's why we are not to use at the mosaic and also not to remove the cloud we are also not using here the other types of uh, atmospheric correction uh enhance of image we don't need that because in this time we are using at the ready-made data set it's totally ready-made data set okay so that's why in this time we are not use this type of uh correction it automatically all of those done okay i will go one by one okay lancet sentinel all of those things i will uh, step by step i will discuss there is no problem okay so we'll start from the modis then go to the lancet then sentinel all of those things will be covered don't worry for that yeah so anyone any question about that in this code or any confusion any line of code you can ask me yeah uh please maybe because i i i I start uh, later. I guess uh, redefine uh, the, the system. The image collection. I I want to know, know more about it. Okay. Really. Okay. So basically, in this time, we are using here this image collection. Uh, this collection yeah. just simply copy this art in the snippet from here, and then use this image collection in here. Okay. So after this image collection, mainly we can get the two band NDVI and EVI. We are using at the NDVI. Then select our specific time period using the filter date function. Put the start date and and then put here the end date. Okay. Then we find out the total 23 images. Okay. Then uh, this 23 images we need to reproject it. Okay. We need to reproject it because we need the result negative one to positive one. And you can see they are already provide a scale value in here about that a scale point zero zero one okay so this is scale value we can simply in this time we put the function basically function mainly reuse your code in this time i use the function and at the same time all of those emails i just multiply with my scale factor using the copy properties okay so in this function mainly this is the element name you can use any name there is a no problem I take only for the one element and this one element I return with multiply 0 0.001. After that, this co uh, this, proper this properties I copy using the copy properties and apply it system start and system end. Basically, this system start and system is, is our time period, this time period. Okay, a start date and end date. After that, I created this function. This function I need to connect with my image collection. 23 is my image collection. And this image collection is stored in variable modis. Simply call the modis and use the map function for connecting with my function. So now all of the things I just make the reducer, I calculate the average pixel value from 23 images and make this result and could get this type of NDVI map. Okay. So I hope everyone is clear about that. Thank you. Okay. okay then we can easily export this type of map from here okay we can simply export this type of map from here and finally we are using here the arc map software or qz software for creating this type of map you can see suppose you can see this is the map of ndvi map for bangladesh basically this tp maps we can get from the uh, google earth engine platform then finally creating this map we are using here the arc map software for our research paper or presentation work okay also, you can see this map, all of those data, name, hillshade, aspect, slope, all of this map, all of those data set, we can use the Google Earth Engine platform and download the TPMS 
and create this type of map also you can see land use land cover classification map um also you can see the ndwi map for the dry season so all of those things we can just use the google earth engine platform and download this image and use the arc map software for our uh, presentation map or research paper map okay you can see all of those map we are using here this google earth engine platform and final product we can download as a tip format okay and then use the arc map software for our research paper map or presentation map so i also try to show you this process how we can easily create this type of map uh, for our research paper or presentation work later i also try to discuss about that okay. so now let's go about that our topic so we can create about this ndvi map okay and uh, we can easily use this code i also sell you the practice code also you can easily use this code for any region you can simply change your time period and you can easily get the result about that okay so now uh okay so now exporting okay so before exporting i talk about that uh lancet image then go to the exporting okay so export i discuss the letter about this code so now i talk about the filtering the lancet image then move to the exporting in here okay then because lancet image and this type of uh tip image when you want to export the process is the same okay for exporting images so let's go and we also talk about the time series chart about that also so first of all in this time uh, we talk about the filtering and visualizing the satellite images in google earth engine platform okay so filtering and visualizing satellite images in google earth engine platform um today i talk about the lancet image and uh, further class talk about the sentinel okay and uh, lancet image so lancet and sentinel both of both of image for the filtering process is the almost same so some difference with their image properties about that all of this process is same so mainly when you want to filter the lancet or sentinel image it depends on some factors suppose first factor is the region suppose with region you want to need this satellite image it can be dhaka city it can be kolkata it can be delhi or any region okay so this is the one factor for region another factor is that image metadata or image properties suppose for the dhaka city i need the image which image will be not more than one percent cloud cover okay so this is the another factor third factor is that a specific time period suppose i need the image for the wet season there is uh, dry season or year of 2017 or year of 2020 so any specific time period i need this satellite images it can be dry season or uh, wet season any time period so mainly this is the three factor when you want to filter any types of satellite images first of all region second is the image metadata third is that specific time period okay so using these three factor we can easily filter in any types of satellite images in google earth engine platform so let's go i show you the practical example so for that i simply open a new code editor So in this time, first of all, I need to import the image collection. So I simply go to the browse data catalog. And then click on the Lancet. And you can see all of those Lancet image collection in here. We can got in here. Okay. So in this time, I use the Lancet 8 and also give the assignment for the Lancet 9. Okay. So I use the Lancet 8. So you also try to land seven, all same process. Okay. So here we can get the this type of image collection. You can see surface reflectance, top of atmospheric, raw image. Three types of image is the same process when you want to filter in and also make the displaying, also export the image, same process. Okay. So in this time I use here the suppose uh, surface reflectance. 
I want to use the surface reflectance images and also show you the process for filtering. You also try to use the same process for top of atmospheric or raw image for the Lancet 7, Lancet 9, Lancet 5. You also try to use it. Okay. So in this time, we can get the image availability time period is that year of 2013, this time period, and is that 2023. Between this time period, we can get the image collection. As well as also you can see here, uh, the data set provided is the USGS. Okay. You can simply click on here, then you can get the uh, other information about this USGS, uh, mainly Earth Explorer, mainly this, uh, it provides the Landsat uh, image collection we can get from here. So in this step, they are provide this data in Google Earth Engine platform. We are getting the data from here. So in this time, uh, you can see this is the unique, unique ID, unique ID about the data set. Okay. All of those data set has a unique ID. So in this time, what can I do for importing? Simply copy. Just simply copy, copy that and paste in my code editor. Okay, then give a variable name. You can push, I put the variable suppose uh, L8. You can use any name, there is no problem. In this time, I want to check how many images for the Lancet 8 surface reflectance for the whole world between the time period year of 2013 to 2023 between this time period how many images i want to check it this number so simply use the print function and use at the l8 l8 mainly this variable is stored at the full image collection okay and use the function size function for checking how many images are available for the whole world between the time period year of 2013 to 2023 Get working and computing this number. Okay. So, it computing this number, how many images is available? So here you can get the entire large number, more than 1 million images is available for the whole world between the time period, year of 2013 to 2023, okay? So now, I need to filter. So this large number of image collection, I need to filter anyhow. So we already know about that three factor. One factor is the region. So in this time, suppose uh, this is the large number of image collection for the whole world. But in this time, I need this image only for the Dhaka city. Okay. So for that, I simply click on asset tab and import it the Dhaka city boundary. Okay. And then give the variable name of Dhaka city, suppose ROI. You can use any name. There is no problem. So now here I can get the large number of image collection for the whole world, but I don't need for the whole world. I need only for the Dhaka city. So what can I do? I just take a variable. Suppose put the variable name is, is that suppose filter region. You can use any variable name, no problem. And then I simply call my, you can see large number of image collection. It is stored in a variable. What's the variable name? L8. I simply copy the L8 and paste here. Okay. Then use a function filter region. Okay. Filter region I use here. Okay, sorry, it will be filter bounds. Okay, I need to use here the filter bounds function. Yeah, filter bounds function. In this time, this L8 showing for the whole world this value, large number of image collection. So fr from this, all of those image collection, I remove and need only for the my region, Dhaka city. I check only for the Dhaka city how much satellite image is available. Okay. So for that, I use a function filter bounds function. I use here. Okay. And filter bounds function I use here. And you can see what is the argument. Argument is the geometry. Geometry is that area or shape file. 
So in this time my shape file is that ROI. Okay. So put here this ROI. So now let's check how many images is available in this ROI. ROI is mainly Dhaka city. Dhaka city is stored in the ROI. Okay. So just I simply use a function print. Print. And call this variable name filter region. Because after filter use the filter bounds, it is stored in the filter region. So use the, and use the function size function for check how many images is available for the Dhaka city. And 410 images. So 410 images is available for the Dhaka city region. What is the time period? This time period is that year of 2013 to 2023. Here I can get total 410 images. Okay. First of all, I can get the image for the whole world, but I don't need for the whole world. I need only for the Dhaka city. So for that, I use the 410 images. Okay. So now from this 410 images, I want to need only for those images, which image will be not more than 1% cloud cover. Okay. So I need to filter this image metadata for image properties. Okay. So for that, I simply take the another variable. Suppose I put the variable name is the filter. Uh, metadata you can use any name so in this time from 410 images so this 410 images is stored in a variable filter region simply copy and paste okay then use the function filter metadata okay and you can see what is the argument name operator and value okay I need this from 410 images, I need only for this image, which image will be not more than 1% cloud cover. So my properties name will be cloud cover. You can get all of the image properties in here. You can see image properties. So I use here this cloud cover. Simply copy that. If you can also use the cloud land cover, cloud cover land, there is no problem. I use here the cloud cover. Okay. Simply copy and then use here cloud cover. Then put here the operator. I put the operator uh, less than less than and set the value for one okay so now i want to check how many images is available in dhaka city which less than one percent cloud cover simply use the print function and call the filter metadata simply copy this variable name and paste here and use the function size function and click the run so now we can change the result. You can see 61. So here I can get 61 images is available for that we are less than one percent cloud cover. Okay. So 61 image collection is the available we are less than one percent cloud cover. Okay. So now uh, you can see basically the 61 image time duration is that year of 2013 to 2023. But I need only for the specific time period. Suppose year of 2022 or 2017 or any time period I need. So for that, what can I do? Just take the another variable. Suppose put the variable name is the filter debt. You can use any variable name. And 61. From this 61, I choose only for those images which image is available in 2022. So I simply copy this variable name, filter metadata and paste here and use the function filter date function and put here the start date and end date okay so i put this suppose 2022 first january from 2022 december 31 okay so now let's check how many images is available in this time period so print filter date simply copy that and use here the size function. Click to the run. So now you can see the result. We can get the nine images. Okay. So nine images is available for my region between this time period. So you can see the filtering process. How it will be filtered step by step, step by step, step by step. First of all, for the whole world, I can get the more than one million images large collection this collection i filter for my region for the dhaka city how many images is available i can get 410 images from 410 images i choose only for those images 
which image will be not more than 1% cloud cover. I find out total 61 images. From 61 images, I choose only for those images which image is available in 2022. I find out only for the nine images. Okay. So you can see, I can get the large number of collection, but when I filter, I can get only for the nine images. Okay. And this filter process mainly we can re uh, remember, first of all, yeah. then it also called about that um, how and finally it also called the when okay so higher then how and then when okay for filter bounds it represent your area which area you need this in this time Dhaka city i use the roi then how i want to need only for the image which image will be not more than one percent cloud cover then when it is the year of 2020 networking issue will be happening yeah Okay, so higher than uh, how and when. Okay, using the same process, you can also apply for filtering the image collection. Also Sentinel. Okay, so now anyone any question about the filtering process? Any code you don't understand? Then you can uh, ask me about this. So anyone any question about that? Any function you you don't understand? A question, sir. Yeah, please. No, sir, the explanation was very clear. So, can you visualize it on the map so that we can really see? Yeah, so I also show the, show the image. Okay, so let's go. In this time, here I can get the nine images. But this nine images is not captured at the same time of the year of 2022. It will be captured at a different time period. I want to check what is the acquisition time period. Okay, so let's go. For that, I simply use the print function and call the filter date simply copy and click the run in this time i also get the acquisition time period total nine images click on here and then feature so here i can get the total nine images zero is the first item so here i can get the first image is that similar i also increasing the size yeah Yes, so here you can see the total uh, nine images. So zero first image is that year of 2020, 16 February, 4th March, 20 March, 31 January, 16 February, 4th March, 20 March. Okay, we can get all of those images acquisition time period in here. And all of those images has a total 19 bands. Okay, you can see all of those images have total 19 bands. Uh, SRB1, SRB2, SRB3, all of those bands we can easily get in all of those images. So in this time here I can get all of those nine images. In this time I want to work for the single image. Suppose I want to work only for the image uh, is that year of 2022, uh, 20 March. This image I want to visualize and also download this image. Okay, so what can I do? Just simply copy this ID. Simply copy this ID. and then give a variable name suppose i put the variable name is that image you can use any name no problem and then use a function ee dot image okay and then paste this id which i copy so now display the image of 2022 um, 20 march so for that use at the map dot add layer and call the image and click to the run you can see one layer will be added in here but i did not visualize the image so that's why i need to focus the shape file i can simply use the code suppose map dot center object so now object is that roi and put here the suppose 10 and click to the run so now it visualize my image tiles you can see okay you can say i can get the tiles Okay, basically this tiles acquisition time period is that year of two, uh, 2022, 20 March, this time period. Okay, but in this time, these tiles look like that because I did not add any visualization. So that's why it's showing the default. Okay, but in this time, suppose I add the visualization. So simply click on here. Setting button. I want to use add the uh, red band. 
then green band and also blue band and custom 98% stress for the reflectance below for the better looking and then apply it so now we can get the image look like that you can see satellite image it will be appeared in here okay so now we display the tiles okay this tiles acquisition time is that year of 2022 or uh, 20 marks okay but this tiles has a problem this problem is that you can see this tiles is not cover my region okay so if i also add the layer for my uh, shape file suppose okay before that you can see i also import the visualization simply import that a new line of code will be added simply copy this variable name from here and paste the object name so you can see this is my object after the object paste here the visualization name and click the run so now this color okay rgb color red green blue band which i set it will be set with my code okay so in this time this tiles is not cover my region so i will check the another tiles okay so if you want to add the layer about the so i use here the layer for the my shape file so use at the map dot add layer and use at the roi okay so now it also display my shape file my can uh, shape file of the dhaka city boundary okay and also display the satellite image you can see some part is missing you can see some part is missing in here okay so it's not covered in here okay so these tiles is not covered for my full region so for that i also check the another suppose i check this suppose uh, this image and then simply copy this id and paste in here to the run so now let's check about the result okay so this style is the perfectly cover my region okay so now i use this image collection for the single time period year of 2022 uh 16 february okay so in this time i not uh, i don't need for the all of those styles so that's why i can simply use a function clip function clip with my area ROI or my Dhaka city shape file. So in this time I can get the result only for the Dhaka city area. So you can see I can get this result. Yeah. Okay. So now we can get this uh, image for the 2022. And what is the date? Date is that 16 February okay if you want you can also check the other types of tiles also you can see total nine tiles we can get in here okay we can check this tiles is fully covered my region okay okay so anyone any question you can ask me about that hello yeah. I have, I have a question, question like, like in second line, line what we have added actually is my micro connection was not there what uh, VIS okay. prism. What, what was, was that? that? Please, Please open, open the code. code. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, this, this line, line uh, 19, 19 number, number as well as, as in second, second or third, third line, line you added, added something. something. Go on. Uh, this uh, this variable, variable image, image VIS, VIS P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, this is that visualization parameter you can see. I simply click on here, then I can use here the different types of uh, band combination I can use in here. Suppose I use at the near infrared, then red, and then suppose uh, blue, and then custom 98% and apply it. Then this vision is only showing this map, okay? This is only showing this map, okay? okay? But when I import that, import you can see new line of code will be added in here okay i simply copy okay. that and then paste after the object name okay this is my object and paste here paste here 
So now this ban combination is set. And when I click to the run again, I can get the same ban combination result. Okay. Okay. So you can say uh, I can, you get can only download, download, download only some, some bank, bank uh, which is of our address. address. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. And, and one, one more thing, thing that uh, last you said, said something like, like there were nine, nine collection, image collection. Image collection. Yeah. So, so like, like in line nine, nine uh, uh, number sixteen, if, if uh, we, we want, want any particular, particular image, image uh, date, uh, date, date of image, image yeah. we should paste yeah. here. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 And suppose I want all the image then. Then we are using the median composite. Or mosaic. Okay, so I also try to show you that later. How can you use the median composite? Oh. Okay, so okay. this is the process for single image or single date image when you want to show. Then you can simply copy the ID and do this process. As okay, well as, this is, yeah. This is this for, is for single, single date. Yeah, single date. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is single yeah. date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Question. yeah, please. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for example, for, example, for, for uh, nine, nine image, image we yes. obtain yeah. to see if uh, this image uh, cover to the total uh, ROE, we, we have to check, check uh, them one, one by one. one. Yeah, we need to check the uh, one by one, but it has also another way. Uh, we can easily check that directly which image is the um, less cloud cover. Okay. Suppose year of 2022, I can get the total nine images, but uh, use a function. This function automatically showing you the result uh, about that between this time period, which image is the less cloud cover. Okay, it's also possible to showing that. I also covered this part our further uh, lecture. Then I hope you can easily got the idea about that. Okay, between this time period, uh, suppose I want to find out what is the lowest cloud cover image between this time period. Okay, it's also possible to showing that. Okay, I will show you the later. Okay, or later exercise, I also I add this part, then we can easily get the idea. Okay, okay, any question? Okay. Yeah, please, uh, we can uh, remove shadow, filter shadow. shadow. Okay, so basically, this is our part for the uh, cloud cover. When I talk about the cloud cover, then I also add the cloud shadow. Okay, so how can you remove the cloud cover from the satellite images? So then it will be covered this part. Okay. For the removing the cloud and cloud cover or cloud shadow. Okay, we can also talk about that this lecture. Okay, anyone any question? Okay, so now we get the only for the single date image using this process but if you want you can also make the total nine images and make the median composite okay and for that what can we do just i simply commenting all of the line i simply commenting simply select and use the control and forward slash okay now it's commenting so now here i can get total nine images so i want to make a composite using the total nine median image so for that, what can I do? Just I simply use a function. Suppose final image and then call the filter date. Here is stored a total nine image. So I call and use a function median. Okay. And this median also clip with my area. Area is that ROI. Okay. So now display the result. What can I do? Just use at the map dot at layer. And then simply copy the final image and click to the run. So now it displays the median composite total nine images. It looks like that. I use the visualization. Suppose put here this uh, red band and green band and blue band. From 98%, then apply. And you can see. It will be apply this color in here but when i want to set this color with my code then i need to import that so i simply use here the import i uh, can see import when i click the import a new line of code will be added in here okay so simply copy that and paste after the object name so my object is that you can see it will be fi final image then put here this object name and click to the run so now it will be set it with my code this visualization Okay, 
So this is the image we can got in here. Okay. So in this time here you can see uh, here I use the individual individual function. I use at the individual individual variable name. Suppose filter bounds. I use a name filter metadata. I use the another name for filter date function. I use the another name. But if you want, you can use only for the one variable and under this variable, you can put all of those function. Okay. So in this time, I'll show you about this process. So further, I simply commenting all of the line. So basically further, when I write the code, I use the process because in this time, I write all of those individual, individual function with individual, individual variable name for your understanding how it will be work one by one, one by one, one by one. But when I write the code, the proper way is that we can simply take the one variable and under this variable we put all of those function so for that what can we do just simply take a variable suppose i put the variable name is the image and call my collection elect and use that the filter bounds function filter bounds with roi and after that use another function filter metadata use at the cloud cover and operator will be less than set the value for one and then use at that uh, filter date okay only use the one variable under this variable put all of those function okay okay you can see this is the higher then how and then when we can get the three and then finally uh, i can simply use add the suppose median composite and this median composite clip with my shape file roi so now my code is done just i simply use add the map dot add layer function and call the image image and paste here and also and also copy and also copy this visualization parameter fake from here simply copy that simply copy from here and then paste after the object name okay paste up that object. click to the run i can get the result okay so very short time i can use in the only for this line of code i can get this image collection for the dhaka city okay in this time using the same code you can easily get for any region satellite image suppose in this time i simply change my area of interest so how can i do that I simply go to the asset suppose i use here the another area of interest suppose i want to use here mm. suppose i put this deal listed area simply import that okay so now what can i do i can simply copy the roi okay and also remove my previous roi simply delete that and just use the roi in here and click the run in this time i can get the satellite image for the year of 2022 uh delhi okay so now you can say i can get the result about this study area okay so suppose you need the 2022 any time period you can simply put this time period and you can easily get the result okay and when you want to work for the single time period then what can you, you do just simply uh, just simply uncomment that commenting that and then simply uh, use here the print so print this image print this image and click the run in this time you can get the image collection how many image collection i can get in here you can see total Uh, 23 images yeah. collection you can get in here so here you can see total 23 images we can get all of those time period you can see all of those time all of the single image you can get and when you work with the single image just use this process you can see e dot image and put here this image id for the single date okay or when you want to take the median composite for the all of the images just simply use at the median and also clip with your shape file and finally display the result okay and click the run so now we can get the median composite of all of those images and create this composite about that. Okay, so anyone any question you can ask me. 
yes, I have a question about the, the media and the composite. Yes. Uh, what, what is the... Okay. So what's basically, the, the yeah. Is, the yeah. Is, what's the process? Is it the band fusion or what? What in a, a publication paper, for example? How can we explain that? Okay, median composite uh, mainly uh, in this case of median composite is pixel is selected to have the median or middle value out of all possible values. Okay, so it take the median value. From all of those images, take the median pixel value and make this composite. Okay. As well as we can also use that the mosaic as well as I also try to discuss the later when I talk about that sentinel imagery for the mosaic function, how do we work about that? So basically median, uh, it take the middle pixel value. Okay, uh, value and make this composite about that. Hello, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, please, I wanted to ask if uh, with the median, can we use the uh, reducer and end it with the median? What? The reducer, like the reducer for the median. No, no. Reducer, reducer, we can use here only for the mean max. And standard deviation. Okay, mean, max, maximum, minimum, average, and standard deviation for using the reducer. Okay. okay. And median is an so, uh, empty function. There is the no argument. Okay, there is a no argument about the median. Even to check the median, there is a no argument about the median. Median is totally um, used for, uh, you can see, when I press the control and space, there is a no argument in here for the median. It is the empty function. And you can see, median is only work for the image collection. Okay? Median is only for the uh, work for the image collection. But you can see when you talk about the reducer, reducer, uh, we can use at the percentile. We can also calculate it. We uh, also use at the geometric, all of those things, mean, median, max all of those things we can easily calculate this about that and mainly median is the function of the image collection and it's totally empty function okay reduce an image collection by calculating the med uh, median of all values at each pixel across the stack of the missing band and create this composite about that okay uh, my question is all, uh, again on the median when, when we, we check, check uh, the nine image, image uh, one, one by one, one we, we saw that uh, some, some of them don't cover the entire arrow. Yes. yes. Then, then when, when we use, use the, the median, yes, yes, the median will cover the entire arrow. Yeah. Yes. So, so is not there something missing in the the part which would not uh, cover by some of the image? Suppose you want to use this total, uh, you want to need for the delete study area, but you want to check about the all of those images, uh, one by one, one by one, single image is not covered. Then we are also using at the median composite. And um, co uh, then it also covered. This, uh, pig, uh, which pixel is not covered? And when I use the median, it will be covered, this region. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. My, My question, question is, uh, that we, we, it will not be some missing information in this media for the part which was not covered. What? Uh, I don't know. The, the, the part of the arrow which was not covered by some image. Yes. Images. Yeah. With the media. Is the information in this part of, uh, uh, I don't say. Let's, let's, let's help, help, help me. Uh, if you want to know, you know, at first when, when we check uh, uh, the band one, one by one, one we, 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 we saw that, that uh, some bands yes. did not cover all the, the studio area. 
but the the composite image uh, after using the the median, we we see that uh, all the studio area uh, is covered by the composite image. So how we can explain this? Okay, so first of all, you have to check one by one. You have to check one by one. Suppose this area is not covered. Okay, so then we are using at the median. Median is mainly all of those images. Take the median, uh, middle pixel value and make this composite. Then it will be covered. If in this time, suppose I did not use at the clip function. Uh, I did not use the clip function and then click to the run. So in this time, you can see all of those uh, images. All of those images total. I think this image is the total. Uh, nine images all of the images create this composite in this time okay and large so, area all of those uh, types please, please, please sir it is possible sometime to even though we apply the median uh, to to find that uh, the hours to the area is not covered there are some parts of the area is not covered is it possible to find this case no no it's not possible to find out that you want to check the randomly one by one for that so let me uh, sir i have something sir yes uh let me just answer his question by saying that uh, in the case of a median the the median function is used when we are dealing with the, an image collection why the other one the, the image the single, single when, when we are, are dealing with a single, single we use better an image. image. Yes. And, and when you are yeah, using a, a single image, image you have, have to go uh, one by one in order to make sure that it covers your, your, your area, area of interest. interest. May why why using, using the median function, function you are sure that the image collection will cover your, your, your region, region of interest. interest. Okay. So I just wanted to bring a small light of what okay okay thank you yeah okay for that yeah yes okay so i hope you can uh, got the answer and also get the clear idea about that for the median and also single date images how you can uh, display this result okay okay so now we talk about that how we can easily export this image uh, i wanted to ask how did you import your image with visualization uh, parameters into the board uh, oh. so sorry okay okay for that after adding this image you can get the layer you can see uh layer one click on here and put here this the your band combination okay so i use here the red band then green band and blue band okay then simply apply that then it will be added but i also import this visualization in my code so for that click on the import then it will be added look like that visualization parameter okay then simply copy this visualization parameter and paste after the object name after the map dot add layer object name, we always put here the visualization parameter name. Okay, then put the layer name. Okay, so using this, you can easily create the band combination and also display the images. Suppose I put here the band five, then put here the band four, and also put here the band uh, two, and also increase the ninety eight percent, and then apply that. So now I can get the image look like that. Okay, I can get the image look like that. And now I want to import that. So simply import that. You can see when I import that, what happened? Import new line of code will be added in here. Just simply copy and paste after the object name. Okay, this is the object, and I put paste after that. So now it will be set it. When I click to the run again, you can see click to the run again. So now we can get the visualization which I set in here. Okay, you can see I can get the result look like that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. So now we talk about the exportation. How can we export 